Last time on Kirby's Epic Yarn. Yes, I recorded right after this one. We have done. We have got, gotten through the basics of the game. And our main gimmick is to find magic yarn from bosses of the game. And also, stop yin yarn from, from turning dreamland into yarn. And because of, of Yin Yarn's magic metamato being gone, Kirby has the power to transform into stuff. So, basically, this video is going to be around 10 to 15 minutes long, so it depends on how long this stage takes. I'm feeling like it won't take very long, so I might be doing two stages per video. But that's just dependent. Some of the stages are actually pretty hard to complete. Anymore. So, so, most likely some of these stages will be very easy. Some of them won't be. I'm doing it so cheaply. Not supposed to do. Not. I'm basically not supposed to do it cheaply like that. I'm just supposed to run around it like I am now. No, you guys are not experiencing any kind of problem on YouTube. I'm just a slow speaker. So these big flowers don't turn into gems at all, or I am mistaken. This is the only one that does, so. Doesn't matter if you get all, get all of these gems, because there's so many gems later on. Flower clock. New enemy, and I will show you guys all of the enemies in a bonus video, because some of them have an interesting history. Oh, yikes. Got to do this. If you actually go from up high, you see this. A treasure chest. Frog Umbrella Sting. Go in the water and you see Kappa's. There's another enemy somewhere nearby. Go from behind. Throw, no mind. Oh, exclamation point. This is actually pretty cool. Follow me. And as you can see, the exclamation point is actually up there. If you pull it, it will be a music desk. Very cool stuff. Just basically try to follow it if you can. By the way, as a kid, it took me two years to 100% this game. And when I first got this game was when I was 11. And back then I didn't really get, this, get when this 
game was made. But I was able to get it at some point. Oh jeez, now I'm turning into something. And it is a UFO. Press two, press and hold two to basically. I can never get the words right when it comes to. I think it's called abduct things. And press one to discharge them. things getting smaller it will be less effective. So press don't press and hold two for too long. Uh, and be careful with the flies. They will damage you. Or the bees will, I'm not sure. Two-star one, not that it matters. Ha! Ha! Got it. 472 streak. Lock. Found the alarm clock patch. I could end the video here, but like I said, oh, never mind. Oh dear, what a pickle! What a pickle! What a definite pickle I am in. Prince Fluff, Lord Kirby, you're still here. Oh, thank goodness I ran into you. I am in the most dire of pickle straits. Could I possibly ask for your help? Thank you ever so much, Lord Kirby. Your generosity shall not go unnoticed. You see, I can't, I can't find, I can't seem to find my tenants who will move into my new building here. It's a market. What, what is one to do? I think spiffing the place up a bit would definitely attract some new tenants. I'm so glad to hear that you agree. Now, take a look at this photo here. We already have these. We, we got them from Flower Field. The flower clock and the flower sofa. Could you do me a favor and decorate the room so it resembles this picture? Wonderful. My, that was much easier than I expected. You chaps certainly are helpful. Well, I'm sure you will find the furniture you need in areas you already visited. Yet again, we need the sensor bar. So we need to help Dom Wool. And I call and I say Dom Wool, like Wool, and not Dom Wool, because it's with an E ending, so I think it's Dom Wool. But if I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. Flower clock. No, we didn't get the flower clock from the flower. We didn't get the flower itself up from flower fields, we got it from Fountain Garden. Now, we have a new piece of terror. 
Hey, you got you got any rooms? Wow! Flowers everywhere! I love this place! You did it, Lord Kirby. Oh, I can't tell you how grateful I am for this. Play with friends. You can now go play with friends. Let us up to invite them to play a play game. I'm actually going to show you guys just one thing, just one time, what this is like. Zeke's hide and seek. Except for it's a girl, not a guy. No. So, how I know that is because the braids of flower hair, if it's it, if it is a guy, then I'm then that confused to be because flowers I know. There are no guy flowers. Maybe they are. The only guy flowers I know of are, are basically, you know, just don't ask. So, hide and seek. You need to find all five Zeeks in order. I'm basically only going to show you guys once. Or just show you guys this. But nothing else. You need to find some things that are not very even. But the difficulty gets harder the more stages you play. Another. Another. One of them is actually up here. I think well, I already got them. Maybe. One is underwater. One is right here. Got it. Then the last one is at the very end. Up top here. Not. Founder. Two hundred forty-eight gems. I would like to introduce you to my brothers. Come back and see me. That it looks like a really smart request. You found us all. That's just amazing. I found this while I'm hiding, and I think you should have it, Kirby. It's important to play with these guys more than just that. The blue sky fabric. Wait, wait, Prince Philip. Lord, Lord Kirby, I was just looking for the two of you. I'm actually in need of a small favor. I would like to add a floor to the building, but I don't have enough beads. Do you think you can bring me, oh, I don't know, say 10,000 beads? Yes. Oh, wonderful, just wonderful. What would I do without the two of you? I'll be waiting outside. Just come talk to me when you have the beads. That's what happens when you play with her once. But first I'm going to be introduced to the brothers of Dom Wood. Um, okay. There we go. Well, it seems that my brothers have decided to set up their shops here. Right next to one another. Hmm, well I can't... Well, I suppose that makes things convenient. Hello there, ah, champ. I am Chase Good. Uh, if you need better to come see old Chase. I'm Unimus Well, no, I have the best fabric store, fabric store in Patchland. The only one to visit them whenever you need something. And they talk like they, they're going to be... The main, the main characters that I would be talking to a lot, but they're just shopkeepers. If you give me 10,000 beads, then I can add a new floor to Quilty Court. I will do it. Thank you ever so much. Now I can add another floor to the building. I shall finish this project straight away. Look at that! I never thought the Quilty Court would see a second floor. Wonderful! 
That means two more available apartments. Since you did such a nice job, perhaps you could help me decorate those as well. Such a great help you are, Lord Kirk. Basically, beads are basically coins in this game. This game is the only game that ha that doesn't have stars for currency. So next time in Kirby's Epic Yarn, we are going to go back to Flower Fields and do the rest of the stages, I think. See you guys then. And yes, you guys might have seen this in the last video. <laughs> See you guys next time.